So if you haven't seen me before, I'm Michelle with Crafty Surveyings. I'm excited to be here. Okay, you can use any board, um, really any background. You could use like a, a flatter wicker basket. You could use a Dollar Tree background. This was from uh, the Target and it was $5. This is a really good surface for me. It's gonna work really good for what I'm doing. So I'm painting a really basic Santa face on here because you're not gonna see a whole lot of it. The color I'm going to start is with Deco Art Almondine. And again, we're, we're not going to paint, do a whole lot of painting. And I'm just going to use one of the brushes from the Dollar Tree and just make it a real rough paint. You don't have to do a lot. We better get the sleeves up today. So just real easy. You don't have to have full coverage. This brush soaks up so much though. I definitely want to make sure I have it down far enough. And I'm just going up on these sides. Again, just use a flat board if you don't have anything like this. You can use like a wicker basket kind of background. Dollar Tree surfaces, there's so many you could use that on. All right, that's the face for our Santa. Let me just go down a little bit farther. Face for the Santa, simple and easy. I'm not going to even paint on the nose. I'm not going to paint on the nose. All right, we're going to dry this up. All we're putting on is um, eyes and cheeks um, that we're going to paint yet. I just want to dry this up a little bit. It's got to be really dry for the cheeks because I use blush. Um, I, I do do paint sometimes. I just find I can do so much better with blush. So I've got to make sure this is really good and dry. That Ooh, we got a little bit on there yet. Let me just get my paper towel. I'm just going to wipe up the rest. And the sides. Okay. Simple, easy. And so blush, I use blush. I, I just use blush for my cheeks. It's so much easier for me. And I'm also gonna use it on the nose. Now I haven't decided. This nose would be sort of whimsical. I'm not sure I wanna use that though. So I've got this one. This one is a one and a half inch, I think. And this one is a two, one and three quarter inch maybe. So I'm going to do both of them just in case, but I think I'm going with the smaller one. All right, cheeks, just dab in the blush. I'm actually using a makeup brush. And just really, and actually, so if I close this up a little bit, I get a more solid surface, but I really want to see those cheeks. Make them as big as you want. Just really blend it in. But as you're coming on, Things you create are definitely more than two dollars. Oh, thank you, Mary. Well, I know they are, but you know me. Just really get some good cheeks on there. All right, so those are my cheeks. I'm going to take the same and we're going to do it on right on the nose. Now, you could have painted the nose if you want but I just think this is going to be really cute. It's going to work good. Just get, get a nice color on that nose. Okay. And you can see it's going to, it's going to work really, really good. All right. The eyes, that's always the challenge is to get eyes that look a little bit similar, right? So we're going to, we're going to go for it. We're going to just, just paint it up. You can also, um, use, like a stencil, you know, cut out a shape um, and draw it on. You can you can definitely do that too. All right, and I'm just using the lamp black. Honestly, we're using three colors. We're using that Deco Art um, Almondine. We're using Snow White, and we're using lamp black. That's it. It's it, we're doing simple painting. Thank you for passing me on. I appreciate that. All right. So I want the eyes to look, you know, not whimsical, but just a little bit. We're going to do like teardrops. 
again I just hope they always <laughs> have to be a little bit similar little similar another thing you could use you could do beads for the eyes little black beads would be cute you can use clay I've done that before um, you can use see I'm just drawing little and like you could do it in pencil if you're nervous about doing this you can definitely do pencil uh, you could use like I said clay beads you could use buttons just use what you want for something like this I want it to look pretty um, okay I think I'm gonna stop where I am because I think it's pretty good what do you think I think it's pretty good the the center of the eyes are going to be very easy so we're just going to dry this up and do that right away too all right i don't have to dry this up completely but it's pretty good okay so i'm just going to use a stylus you can use a back of a paintbrush if you want but we're going to do little dots on the eyes and it's going to be done that thank you for the stars i really appreciate it so again, stick on at the last couple of minutes. There's going to be, this is going to be auctioned off. You don't know what it's going to look like now though, but I think you're going to like it. All right. So I'm using a little bit larger stylus and I'm just testing it on there. I think that's, that's the size I want. We're going to put a dot on this one, re-dip it, and we're going to put a dot on this one. Now we're going to put another dot on there, but I don't want it that size. And I actually don't want it one size down. Like, because when you do dots, Remember, each one you do, it's going to be a little smaller. So I don't want the first one. I don't want the second one, but I want that third one. Okay, so we're going to just dab on two, and we want the third one on here. Those are our eyes, right? Simple, easy, easy to do. All right, and let's do, we're, we're done painting. We're totally done painting. I just cut out two eyebrows. And we're going to glue them on here. You're not going to see a lot of them, but we're going to, you're going to see a little bit of it possibly, depending on how you place things. So I'm just using a little bit of hot glue on here. And, and then you guys are going to decide with me at the end. I made these last night, so that may end up to be some glasses that we put on. All right, we're going to set the Santa aside and we're going to start doing the next. Let's do the hat next. So I have big pieces of fur. Let me show you my template. I took two pieces. So, so we're, yeah, we're going to do this hat first. Two pieces of eight and a half by 11 paper, taped them together. And I just folded it in half and I drew this. So I can tell you the length of this is probably 18, 20. It's probably about 20 inches tall. All right make it whatever the width of it I used for this board is about eight inches and I had to cut two of them so you have to make sure that whatever you do with the board that it's going to be able to fit around it because this is the half all right let me just get this out of our way too here I don't need any disasters okay then I also cut a piece of white fur. This is going to be like a sort of a beautiful tone-on-tone -tone kind of color. And you can see how that is. All right. let's. And I'm going to get the hot glue actually out of my way here because I want to use the, the tacky, the um, <laughs> fabric tack for this. So I cut two pieces and we're going to glue together all the way to the top. We're just gonna tip this back. I'm gonna start at the top because I want the top more even. You're not gonna see the bottom. So let's just start at the top. I'm just gonna flip that back a little and we're gonna get this fabric tack out. This glue is my favorite, favorite, favorite glue. I use it all the time. I've gone through bottles of this. I honestly have gone through bottles of it. All right. And I'm just doing along this edge. Now use whatever kind of fabric you want. It doesn't have to be a fur. You can use a flannel. You can use a fleece. Whatever you like. And let's just finish adding this in. Again, it's Beacon Fabric Tech. I know you can get it at Hobby Lobby. That's where I get mine. 
Uh, you can get it probably other craft stores also or on Amazon. Okay, I'm just going to flip it over and we're going to do this other side. I'm not even going to close up the top. It's not important to close up the top. You can. If you want to end up maybe sticking something out of the top, you can do that. I do want this fur to get over. Line that up, though, so that you're not seeing an edge. And we're not flipping it inside out. Now, if you're a sewer, you could definitely... I want to make sure we're not seeing anything up here. We're going to cut off that end. Um, if you're a sewer, you could sew it. You could do inside out. Now, I'm not going to flip this. You, If you want a nice seam, you could t glue them together inside out and then flip it. But I don't like doing that with fur so much. And I'm just going all the way down to the end. And this dries so nicely. It's my favorite fabric glue. Absolutely by far. And I use it on so many other things. All right. Then for, so that's our hat. Okay, and then I've got this length. So make sure it's just going to go around that hat without pulling on it. All right, and I'm going to... Go right along this edge. I mean, all the fur on here. And the reason why I like using this glue also is it doesn't get that stiffness like you get with hot glue. It doesn't get that. And I'm just folding up that edge. Now, a little lesson if you don't cut fur, you want to make sure that you cut just this inside of fur because if you don't cut just the inside, then you're cutting off the length of this fur on here. So just cut, get that scissor right underneath that back edge and you'll get a nice even um, cut with, and you'll still have all that length. All right. Just all the way along. This gives you a little breathing room too with fabric glue. It may start drawing on you already. So it just gives you a little breathing room. And this is just finishing up that edge. Now again, sewers, you certainly can do this sewing too. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and we're going to glue this on the hat. So make sure you know what you want front and back. It doesn't matter. I have the seams on the side. And, and so for me, it really doesn't matter. But we're going to glue this on here. I'm just going to do it right on here again. And I'm just trying to get... I don't necessarily need to be on that fur trim on the bottom. I want to try and get some up here. Get all that fur going on here. So whoop, let's get this out of here. Um, just going to glue on here again. I have a little bit of a sore thumb, so squeezing with this hand doesn't always work the best. I'm not wearing my brace today. <laughs> just... Got to nurse it. Got to nurse it. All right. Oh, goodness. Let's flip this over on here. Again, you don't want to wrinkle up the hat, though, if you've made it the size to fit on there. I don't think we need all of this, but we're going to do it. It's not going to make a difference. You can just make it the size to fit, but you are not going to even see that it's longer than what it was meant to be. All right, that's our hat. We're going to just take just a little bit. I don't want it big and fluffy. We're just going to take a little bit and stuff it just a real little bit. I can still feel some of that glue in there. And then we're going to get to the fun part. So just a real little bit. It's, and I don't even go all the way up to the end. 
okay and I don't go all the way to the bottom end so it's not stuffed hardly at all all right let's put this now so you know what I'm using for the hair and for the um, beard I'm using raffia I'm just gonna take a couple pieces because this would take me way too long I would never get this done I'm just gonna take a couple pieces here I'm gonna show you what to do actually this is one piece but I like splitting up my raffia sometimes too my favorite bags, these are from Michael's. They have these nice big bags. All right, look at what we're doing. Watch this. So you have to be careful so you don't burn yourself, but hold your thumb on there, wrap it, and wait to see if, how many have done this. How many have done this before? We're just going to hold this up on here. Look at that. Is that not amazing? So let's do one more piece and then I'll show you. I have it all prepped already. I'll show you how we're going to put it all together. How many have done this? Isn't this awesome? Look at, look at, look at. Is that not the coolest? Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I already have some together this that all I'll tie that together after but this is going to be the start for the head for the hair all right so I've got two of them I tied I did one and I thought I needed another one so we're just doing we're doing this and that's why I feel like this turned out let me get the correct one that's why I feel that this um, having this little edge on here works really well, but again, you can certainly do it on a board. So let's just start. And I think I'm going to actually staple so that I know it stays. And then you can always add a little glue if you need to. Well, that staple didn't actually stay. Take that one out so it doesn't fall. All right, and then let's just add. I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue up in here too, just for that quick stick. And then I'm going to do one more. All right, let's add one more. I want a nice full head of hair. So this one, I, um, I think we're gonna, we're probably going to glue it on too. I'll do a couple in the back back here. That one did not stay. I'll make sure I get the center too. If I had longer staples to probably work, but I don't want it to go through. Okay, and then let's just do. I think so too, Beth. I think he's going to be beautiful with all these colors. I think it's going to be beautiful. All right, so that's the start. All right, let's just set that aside then, let that dry, and then I have a bunch done for the beard. And I'll show you one thing we might do with the beard is do some shorter. Whatever string you have, I'm using jute. All right, so what I have, this is going to be our beard. I lost my string. I don't want to lose my raffia because I don't want to lay it all out again. I had it all laid out really nice. So let's just put the string. Some of it might fall out. And we're just going to tie this together in the center. Tie it nice and tight. Santa before he gets old and gray. All right, so this is going to be for the beard. Let's cut a little of this off. Just cutting the rest of that jute off. 
And then I also have a piece where I cut shorter yesterday. So we may end up adding that in. So let's start putting together. Whoops, I keep wanting to grab that one. Let's start putting together. So now the hat is going to go on like this. And I will glue the hat on after. But you see how the hat will be? And we're going to do a cute bow, but you're, we're going to adjust that. We're going to do all of that. All right, let's do, so I think I'm going to use the smaller nose that we did at the end. I do have, or at the beginning, I do have a bigger, but I really think I want to use the smaller. So we're going to go ahead and put that down right away because I want that right on the ground. So we're going to use a little of this fabric tack. And we're also going to use some of the hot glue. All right, and let's put it, I want to make sure that this is on so that it's going to stay below the eyes. All right, and then let's get this beard glued on. Um, let's do some fabric tack and we're going to do some hot glue. Goodness, it hurts. Okay, some fabric tack right in the middle, and we'll do hot glue on the outsides here. Can't put it on top of each other because it doesn't like that. And then let's just place that down. Make sure the ball stays in place, and we're going to hold this a second. What is the glue? This is fabric tack. It's a permanent fabric glue, but it works great with this. You can use B7000 if you want, or B6000. Um, I don't think the hot glue will completely hold it all the time. So that's why I wanted to make sure we do this. All right. Now, I may end up, we'll see, we may end up adding in that extra, oh, that's not staying. Let's get that back down there. We have to make sure it's going to stay. We probably could staple a little of this in here too. Cause you're not going to see that we're just going to go to the back and staple a little just so it's going to stay all right and then we're going to so let's set this aside let's decorate up the hat we're going to do a bow with this um i love homespun fabric just looking for my long length because i want the long length because it'll tear e even i know it's even then There's a small spot in the edge of the hat that didn't get glued together. Uh-oh. We'll find it. We'll find it. And let's do one more strip of that. And it doesn't have to be a huge bow. I think if we do maybe about like that, we're just going to do a bunch of strips like that. So everything else is sort of monochrome, but I want to add just a touch of like a country red kind in there. We'll just add a bunch of them. All right, well, and we'll add a little greenery with it. All right, so we're just going to take this and, you know, we're going to start tying it already. I like tying a little bit in layers. So we're going to do one layer of tying it. I like wrapping it around. Do 
one tie to hold it together already. I'm going to grab that raffia back up here and grab a couple pieces of that. And I'll just make pretty big loops. Let's see. Because I want to be able to see it. Let's just do a real big. And we're going to trim some of this off. Now let's add that in. Okay, and we're going to just trim this off. just to add a little fun with that raffia. Okay, so we got that. Again, we still have this tie here. I'm going to add a few of these greens. These greens were from Hobby Lobby. It was like one whole green. That there was probably, it was just one stick of these greens. Add it in. We're gonna do it a little bit slanted like that. So let's just add that in. And tie that up. All right, so we've got that. I've got these berries that you also get from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to cut off. I don't need a whole string of them. My, my old wire cutter that you watch in my life, sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, trying to cut some of these things. But these are pretty easy ones. And we're just going to take a, this bottom berry off of each one. A little shorter. And let's add the berry in right ahead of that green. So now we're going to do a little bit of glue in there. Just add the little berries. We're going to do that down on this side too. And this glue is going to help hold everything together too. Separate this out a little. These are a little big yet. This bowl was a little big, but. I may end up cutting those bowls. We'll see. All right. Then the last thing we're going to add on here is a button. If you follow me again, I use a button. I just tie the string in there. We're going to add that button to the middle. I have to put a button on. I'll bet you 98.9% .9 of my projects I add a bowl or I add a button. Sometimes you don't hardly see that button because you don't want it to be the, the focal point. But this is so big, I think we're good with this big button. All right, and the other thing we did, so I'm not going to have time to do this, but I did a little patch. So I'm, I'm a maker with uh, close to my heart, and we have this amazing little stamp set that I just went through and stamped the letters. It's so cute. And I'm probably gonna put that on the edge of the hat. I think that's good. Okay, let's see if we're all dry here. Push that down in, make sure we're all dry. Control the hair a little bit. Control that hair a little bit. And then let's get this hat on here. Yeah, I haven't put this mustache on. I'm not sure that I'm going to. I don't think I need it. All right, let's just take this hat now and slide it on. And I'll make sure everything is tacked well and glued well. I'm not going to glue this down right now. I'm going to slide that down on here. Look at how cute he is turning out. Look at, look at, look at how beautiful he is. I'm glad I went with the small nose. All right, so this is going to go up on, on here for the trim. So let's just do, we're going to do some B7000. Well, oh, actually, we could, my bottle's getting short. Um, 
of glue, <laughs> the fabric tack. So I'm, I'm improvising. I'll add a little of this. <laughs> I can put that back in. All right, so we're going to just put this up here. I do feel I'm going to trim down a little bit of these. We're going to take off the loops because it's just too much. All right, let's press that on really well. So then I'm also going to take this patch. I'm going to add that little patch just down on the trim of the hat there. Yeah, if you can, don't mind the smell. All right, and then for the final touch is I've got a big rusty bell. I got this. So this, oh, these were the glasses. I, I don't think I... I don't know. Whoever gets this, I'm going to send these glasses along and you can maybe put them on. Okay. I'll take pictures with and without. So the last thing is I got these rusty bells from Timu and I just put a piece of the fabric in and, and another ribbon. I'm just going to tie it on this edge. And we're going to clean up that edge too. We'll just... Tie this on the on this edge to tie that together, and just let that hang down. Let these rags hang down a little. All right. So again, I don't have this glued on. I need to do that yet, but I believe we're gonna start auctioning pretty soon. Thank you so much for coming on with me and I just appreciate y'all.